Hello, this is going to be our final presentation for Safana GPS. Uh, my name is Anna and Saf is here with me. Um, Hello. <laughs> Okay, so this is just a quick agenda. We're going to go into an introduction of the project, some project objectives and functional overview, user experience, technical side of the project, some limitation bugs and issues, and finally demo. So just diving into the introduction, um, we figured out that <laughs> tracking or finding the golf carts on campus is really difficult. So that's the idea for the project. And so solution that we had for this is we're going to be using a low cost embedded system, an Arduino, to persist GPS coordinates to a map accessible to students. And so that students are able to figure out where the golf carts are on campus. So some of the objectives for this project or some of the goals we had um, was we wanted to make it accessible to all students. We wanted to host every aspect of this project to the cloud so that golf carts could be tracked around campus. We wanted the map view updates in real time so they could just have a smooth experience. We wanted a visual marker on the map to display the golf cart so they're easily found on the map. And we want the GPS system to be portable, so small in size and powered by battery so that we can just plot them on the golf carts. Um, we also want the GPS system to be reconnected to Wi-Fi after network connection is failure because there are black spots on campus. So being able to reconnect to network is really important. Um, we wanted the embedded system to be low cost so that we can make uh, we can produce these system uh, very cheaply since there are multiple golf carts on campus. And of course, we also want users to be able to drag, interact, move around the map and view multiple golf carts on camp on the map. So just a little bit more about functional, just an overview of how this was done, how we did this is we created separate components that will interact with each other to work as a complete system. Um, the separate components are the user facing web app, um, the embedded system to track the golf carts, the backend API to persist and re receive GPS coordinates. And then um, the GPS tracking system will be implemented by creating an embedded system that we mounted on a golf cart. So here on the right side, we just have those three components that work together to basically track the golf carts. And I'm going to pass it over to Safa that's going to get a little bit deeper into the details of the project. All right, thank you, Anna. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the UI design. The UI design is pretty simple, straightforward. It's a front end uh, used with React, a primer, and a bootstrap. We utilize React Google Maps library to display the Google Map on the website. And then use of the React hooks, we are updating the map frequently every six to seven seconds, depending on the delay from the Arduino system. And we wanted this UI design to be responsive so people from their phones or with like smaller screen size of laptops can uh, easily monitor the map and then use the website as well. Um, for technical side, we wanted to use low-cost embedded system as Anna talked earlier. We went with Arduino system because the system doesn't really require uh, powerful modules and Arduino is pretty like uh, simple and cheap of a module. And also we needed to duplicate the system for each um, golf cart so it's scalable and the website uh, the api system we use is so simple we didn't really need to store a lot of stuff on the database it's just a lot to do longitude date time and the id for each golf cart so we didn't really need a relational database so we went with mongodb atlas it's a NoSQL database um, as i mentioned earlier we use react for our front end to keep track of our location states and update the map smoothly React is such a nice library um, framework for front end because it has built in functionalities to update the uh, component itself whenever um, something changes or a state changes on the React hook. So it automatically updates the component itself. We don't have to go through a bunch of loops to try to update the, um, each component. It just React does it for us. And the reason why we chose .NET core for our API is it's such a powerful uh, API framework. It's it helped us a lot with using um, basic authentication pretty much. It has like a bunch of libraries and dependencies. And for the technologies, uh, the main core of the project was Arduino, one of obviously and other um, components such as ESP8266 Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi module and GO6M um, GPS module. 
we also use front end React, which was uploaded and deployed on Heroku. And we had ASP.NET Core on backend API, which was uploaded and deployed on um, Microsoft Azure services. For the limitations, uh, the biggest issue we ran into was relying on Wi Fi on the campus, which is local network. Um, there are blind spots that we kept get, getting disconnected, even though uh, that's a huge issue. The RDNA itself automatically reconnects, but that just adds this extra delay to updating the golf cart's location on the map. Um, we also had to use free services in Azure and both Heroku, and we ran into some quota issues with the services. So we had to, uh, instead of updating extremely um, frequent, we push it down to like six, seven seconds. There were times we tried with 10 seconds as well. And then learning new technologies, uh, such as we both of us didn't know React. Um, we had to learn CSS, we had to learn like more about Arduinos, and we had to learn C how to code in C and C, such as uh, different la la languages, different frameworks, and stuff. And the hardware, hardware side, the big debugging was the most challenging thing when we started with working with Arduino. Uh, because we didn't know how to like debug, we didn't have the tools. We had to like just guess and then try different stuff until it started working. And so far, and we kind of knew how to debug, but like it's also took some time because we never really worked with these frameworks. Um, now we're gonna go with demo. Hello, this is going to be a really quick demo for the final presentation for Safana GPS. Um, so here I have um, just the actual Arduino and the component setup. So right here, uh, these are different components. Um, it is portable, powered by battery, so it runs without being connected to a computer. Um, here are the sizes. So we, it's, um, we fit it in this box here, as you can see. It's uh, 6.5 inches in length, 3.4 inches in width, and 2 inches in height. So very small and portable. Um, on this other side here, we have the antenna that's connected to the mock, so it could reach um, satellite and get the coordinates for us. Um, we have the Arduino, which is powering every, everything and uh, basically getting location from the GPS to the Wi-Fi board, which um, this is grabbing longitude and latitude coordinates, sending it to the Arduino via serial communication. Then the serial communication goes from here, the Arduino, to the Wi-Fi board, which right now is connected to Wi-Fi at home. But um, then this is an HTTP post to our API in the back end, which is going to store coordinates in an interval of six seconds. So if you go over here to... Uh, the terminal for the Arduino. You can see here we have Wi-Fi board receiving data from um, the GPS. So you can see here every six seconds we're going to be getting um, coordinates here. So let me pause this terminal here real quick. So as you can see here, Wi-Fi board received data. The longitude latitude got the day, uh, date for it and time and, and universal time. And then uh, it sends the post and here is what it sends. And then we have a 200 code for successful. So it's, it sends this longitude latitude and then it sends date time and a car ID. But yeah, that's everything for a quick demo for the Arduino system itself. Now we're going to show our uh, React application front end. It's a simple application. We have two pages. One is map view and then the other one is about us. About us page is simply um, displaying the team members of Solve Energy Pace and the logo of Solve Energy Pace. And the map is uh, the implementation of Google Maps API. As you can see here, uh, we can use the simple uh, um, functionality of the Google Maps. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can use this guy here to go to 3D view. Oops. And then recently we have added the responsiveness so that people using this uh, website through their phones, they can now have a better user experience in the website. We also added this. Uh, now bar that now they can uh, even though it's smaller they can still use it and then now you can see that we have golf cars on our campus um they should update every five six seconds as long as uh, the system don't do internet connection even if they do they should reconnect automatically and then keep updating as you can see here they're like moving around campus
you know, so we can go into full screen, zoom in, zoom out, go back to normal view. And this is pretty much it about the React side. Um, Uh, this is going to be a very quick demo um, of us walking around campus. As you can see here, I'm walking down the side of um, the soccer field, um, but walking across campus, and you can see there I have a, a live video of, as, as well as the map um, of the golf cart moving around. This is sped up a little bit just for the sake of time, um, but it does show a rep representation of the golf carts being tracked on campus. Thank you, Sofa. So that concludes just an overview of our capstone project. Um, we had a really great time learning these new technologies and putting everything we learned together to make this project. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.